Dr. Brewer, clerical lead at Mercy One Atumwa Family and Internal Medicine Clinic. If you're looking for a local provider to handle you and your family's health care needs, consider Mercy One Atumwa. From pediatrics to geriatrics and everything in between, we are here for you year-round to assist you in your health care needs. We also offer our quick care walk-in clinic with no appointment necessary, open Monday through Friday from 7 to 4.30. Mercy One Atumwa Family and Internal Medicine Clinic, your best life, our one purpose. Visit mercyone.org. What's holding you back from living your best life? If it's poor credit or no credit, Community First Credit Union has the solution for you. With our new Charge Up Credit Builder program, we make it possible for you to establish or rebuild your credit so you can achieve your dreams, whether it's owning a home, purchasing a vehicle, or something else. So, what do you say? Why not let Community First Credit Union help you charge up your credit to new heights? Subject to approval and program qualifications, equal housing opportunity, federally insured by the NCUA. Birthdays, ladies' night out, bachelor or bachelorette party, sports team, no matter what your special event or sport, at Graphics Masters, we can make you stand out. We offer custom apparel, t-shirts, sweatshirts, koozies, and more. We even make custom signage for your event. It's all here under one roof. We even offer auto detailing as well, like Graphics Masters on Facebook, to see some of our quality work or stop into the shop located on Albee Road across from the BP. Graphics Masters, we print your words. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people, people with goals, people who want to save more, people that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union. The Atama Schools Bulldog Spirit Store is your one-stop shop for all things spirited and stylish. From comfy bleacher seats to trendy polos, sweatshirts, and t-shirts, we've got you covered. But that's not all. We also have accessories like earrings, water bottles, foam fingers, and so much more. Visit us at the lower level of Career Campus, located at 331 East Main Street. The Bulldog Spirit Co. offers a wide range of products to suit every Bulldog fan out there. See you soon. Atumwa High Basketball, 12.40 a.m., 102.7 FM KBIZ. Live video on the Atumwa Radio Group Facebook page. Atumwa girls fall to Ames, 40-27. Jason Van Arkel joined now by girls head coach Joe Vandenberg, who I commend for coming up here and chatting after that ball game. Uh, coach, I, well, well, let's start with, with you got to give Ames credit. I mean, they are maybe the most intense defensive team we've seen. Uh, Mason City pressed as well, but I didn't think it, I don't think anybody's been more intense in Ames. They play their style, and, and you know they played it well defensively tonight. And you, you do have to give them credit. Yeah, Ames plays really hard defensively, man. They're gonna they're gonna pick you up for 85 feet, and you know they're gonna make you break that press and make the handle the pressure. Um, they they do it, and they do it well. Uh, give them credit. Um, you know, obviously we got behind there in the first quarter and had a, had a climb back all game. It felt like and felt like that mountain got bigger and bigger at times, but. You know, you kept looking up, and it was seven, and then it was five, and then, you know, then they push it back, and then we cut it again, and it's like, you know, we were in it, we were there, uh, just didn't catch the breaks tonight. Talk about Hunter Caldwell really kept you in the game starting in that second quarter after you had a scoreless first quarter. She ended up with 13 on the night, really battled all night inside. Yeah, you know, Hunter's one of those that, you know, night in and night out, Hunter's going to play hard, like all of our girls, right? And that's kind of the nice thing about this team is, you know, she's kind of like, who's going to step up next? Uh, Hunter was that girl tonight. Um, she kind of got a, you know, got a rhythm going early and got comfortable. And um, you know, she, thank goodness she did because that could have got out of the hand early and she kept us in it. The good thing is the game, in terms of what it means either for the conference or the postseason, didn't mean anything. The the regionals already set. Uh, you got a chance to wrap up a, at least a share of the conference title tomorrow night, so you can just flush this and move on. So how do you do that? How do you how do you move on? Get ready to play your fourth game in five nights again, this time hosting East tomorrow night on your final regular season game. Well, that's the exact conversation we had with the girls before the game. Um, you know, it's nice to be able to play in a game that we don't want to say doesn't mean anything because the game, either game means something, right? But it had no impact on our season, right? Whether we won or lost, it wasn't going to change the postseason. 
It wasn't going to affect the conference. The only thing it was going to affect was the win-loss record. Um, do we want to win? Absolutely. But, you know, we'd rather play games where we got the battle for four quarters than games where, you know, we can just kind of walk away with one. And so I'm proud of the girls with their effort tonight. I thought they all kept their composure um, and, a, and a tough environment to play in. And so I'm proud of the girls. I'm proud of their effort. Uh, we move on and we, you know, we honor our seniors tomorrow. And uh, we try our best to wrap up a title, a shared conference title. And then finally, the pairings came out not what we wanted. Uh, I said my piece in the pregame show how I, I don't understand why uh, we split with Roosevelt, scored more than they did over two games, and yet they get the two, we get the three. However, I also said, and I imagine you're thinking the same way, I remember talking to you after that Roosevelt game and the look on your face and how I, I know it felt like you'd let something slip away. You don't often get a chance to go back and get a second shot at something. And maybe that's the best way to look at this. You get a second chance, go back to Roosevelt and show them who you really are. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I don't think that that night was a true testament of who we were. It was a true testament of our, of our, of our grit, right, and our heart and our determination. But we weren't fresh. You know, we were fourth game in a road, on a road, and uh, we were tired and worn out, but we fought and we battled, and that's who, that's who we are. And so, you know, we get a chance to come back at it with a fresh set of legs and, you know, a week to prepare for them without having to prepare for three other games. I feel pretty confident and our girls are excited to go play them again. All right, Coach, we'll see you tomorrow night. As you said, honor the seniors, wrap up a conference title, a lot to play for tomorrow night when East comes to town. Thanks, Jason. Go dogs. All right, we'll take a two-minute timeout, come back, get you ready for the boys' game on the Atomo Radio Sports Network. All roads lead to the new home of the realtors you've come to trust in our community, Bridge City Realty. Whether you're buying or selling property, contact our qualified staff of experienced professional salespeople at our offices, now located next door to Walgreens. We're right in the heart of Ottumwa at 301 West 4th, so stop by or call our new office line at 684-1234. Bridge City Realty, Southeast Iowa's number one real estate agency. The secret is out. You're invited to see the all-new scoring system at Champion Bowl. The first bowling alley in Iowa to have the new Bowler Entertainment System. Animated and themed scoring grids and backgrounds. It keeps score for a variety of game types. There's classic bowling, of course, as well as Build the Monster, Bowling Hood, Battle of the Lanes, and more. You can also video chat with any of the staff right from your bowling station. Come experience the brand new Champion Bowl in Ottumwa, where bowling is now awesome. Get the small town charm with real world experience at William Penn University. Located in beautiful Oskaloosa, Iowa, William Penn is the perfect place to pursue your higher education. We offer a diverse selection of majors, including a four year nursing degree. And our state of the art facilities offer the latest technology. With small class sizes and affordable tuition, William Penn is a great place to call home. Invest in your future at William Penn. Visit wmpenn.edu today to learn more and enroll. At Community First Credit Union, we want you to earn more for your savings. For limited time only, with a minimum of only $1,000, open a 13-month certificate account at 5.35% APY. That is a 13-month certificate account at 5.35% APY. Come on, call or stop by your local branch to start earning more with your money. Because at C-First, together is better. APY is annual percentage yield. Rates subject to change at any time. Federally insured by the NCUA. Tumwa High Basketball on KBIZ and on the live video stream, getting ready for our boys game between the Tumwa and Ames. Bulldogs come in at 11 and 6, coming off that low scoring but much needed win over Des Moines Lincoln Tuesday night. Ames is 13 and 5, they're 7 and 0 in the Iowa Alliance North. They've already wrapped up the North title. Ames always going to be very good under their head coach Vance Downs. He's in his 20th season. He's won three state championships. And the thing to watch in this game is that Ames will probably play a deliberate pace. When they get a shot up on offense, they've got four getting back defensively. They don't want to let you play in transition. And so Atoma's going to have to be very solid in the half-court offense and try to make their shots count. Do not expect this game to be high scoring. Case in point, Ames beat Des Moines North last week 41-36. to now, Ames is averaging 54.5 points a game. They only give up 40 points a game. Bulldogs average 57.5, but they give up nearly 54. 
And last year, Ames beat Ottumwa up in Ames, 62 to 31. The Bulldogs actually led 9-8 after a quarter, and then Ames outscored the Bulldogs 20 to 4 in the second quarter and had the game on cruise control. For Ottumwa, it's a game they're not expected to win. Now, Ottumwa at its best can compete with Ames. I really believe that. Ottumwa's also playing its third game in four nights, and. You know, they played four games and five nights last week. They're doing it again this week. So I wouldn't say Atumwa is at its best. And we saw that on Tuesday, even though they got the win over Lincoln. So the Bulldogs left to dig deep tonight. They're introducing the starting lineups. Let's give them to you first for the Little Cyclones. In the backcourt, 6'2", senior Jack Winter, their leading scorer, 14.3 points, 3.5 rebounds a game. 5'9", junior Jamison Poe, nearly 12 points and 3 rebounds a game. 5'10", sophomore Will Thomas, six points, two and a half rebounds a game. 6'3", junior Abram Voss, the Hoover transfer, 8.6 points, four and a half rebounds a game. And 6'7", sophomore Marak Dow, four and a half points, five and a half rebounds a game. Four-year Atomba Bulldogs, the point guard, six foot senior Rasha Pope, 13 points, nearly five rebounds a game. Six foot one junior Chase Thompson, seven and a half points and two rebounds a game. Six foot sophomore Nehemiah Wolfing, seven points, two rebounds a game. Six foot two junior Parker Derby, five points and nearly five rebounds a game. And six foot four junior Trey Brown, 18 points and eight rebounds a game for Trey. Also a roster knock for Atomo. For the first time all season, junior Braden Larkin is in uniform. He began this season in a walking boot. I believe that was an injury from football. And even after the walking boot went away during winter break, he had not been dressing, but he is in uniform tonight for the first time this season. I don't know if he'll get any minutes. But I know it's been a long road back for him to be ready to play in a game, and he's got that number 52 on tonight, so good to see Braden Larkin back in uniform. That also reminds me, by the way, because Braden Larkin also plays baseball, as did Trayton Larkin, and when Trayton Larkin was on the baseball team, the Atomo baseball team played a game at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. Well, the Atomo baseball team is going to do that again this summer, just announced this week. The Bulldogs will play Oskaloosa, on Saturday, June 8th, at the home of the St. Louis Cardinals Bush Stadium. And we are planning on be the, being there to do that full broadcast. So more details about that as that starts to get closer. But that's exciting, getting to go back to St. Louis. Ames in the black road jerseys. Orange trim on the collar and shoulders. Orange lettering Ames on the front. Orange numbers front and back. Orange trim on the jerseys and shorts. It's home of the home whites. Red lettering Bulldogs. Red numbers front and back and the red and white checkerboard pattern on the sides. Trey Brown will jump it up against Maroc Dow. Whistle blows ball in the air, tip controlled by Ames. They move left to right in the opening half. Into the front court, Will Thomas. And Ames a deliberate team. Ball goes left side for Jamison Poe. Poe back to Thomas. Thomas up high, guarded by Parker Derby, goes around a pick from Dow. Down the right side of the lane, kick it on the wing to Jack Winter. Went Kicks it out, a three on the way is good from Abram Voss, and boy, we've seen that before. Abram Voss, the younger brother of Elijah Voss, they both played for Hoover the last two years. And then Voss, after his brother graduated, transferred here to Ames. Now, the ball thrown away, Voss picking off a pass from Rasha Pope. Pope trying to block the line, but they say he fouled Voss, who goes crashing into the pads. He's okay. First foul of the game on Pope. And Voss at the line where he is surprisingly only a 58% free throw shooter. He's a 30% three-point shooter, and I actually think he has the talent to be a better shooter than that. His older brother, Elijah, a great shooter for Hoover. Abrams' free throw is good. 4-0 Ames, 7-19 first quarter. Now, we talked about it when we played Hoover at the start of the season. That Hoover team decimated by graduation and transfers, including their coach departing. Voss's second free throw good, and Ames has an early 5-0 lead. Pope back the other way. Goes left side for Parker Derby. Derby up top to Chase Thompson at the volleyball line. Right side back to Pope. Looks for a cutter, gets it to Derby. Left side Thompson. Thompson back to Pope. Nearly deflected, but Pope steps into a three. Off the rim, no, and the rebound to Jamison Poe. Ames into the front court between the circles. Left side, and now back to Poe, right side to Voss. Voss had an opening, drives in the lane, and he traveled with it. Atumwa 
did a good job of getting their hands on the basketball, forcing him to take an awkward step and travel. It'll be Chase Thompson to bring it into the front court this time. Guarded by Poe, goes right wing to Rasha Pope. Pope threw it behind Wolfing, who was curling, not expecting the pass and out of bounds. Unforced error that time for OHS. 6.31 first quarter, dogs down early 5-0. Again, this is a tough test for Tomwa, as tired as they've been the last two weeks. Voss up top to the big man Dow, right side for Thomas. Thomas up top at three on the way is good for Jack Winter. A timeout, Atumwa, they're already down, 8 nothing. We're back in 30 on the Atumwa Radio Sports Network. High-speed internet is here, powered by a 100% fiber optic network. Citizens Mutual provides reliable, fiber-to-the-home, high-speed internet to rural Iowa. My children and my grandchildren, when they come here, they didn't like to come visit very much because they couldn't get on their devices. Well, now they love it because they can have chats with their friends. People don't realize how isolated sometimes people are out in the rural areas. So, yeah, it's awesome. Visit findmyfiber.mycmtech.com. You're watching the Atomo Bulldogs on the Atomo Radio Out of the timeout, it's almost trying to get something going offensively here, trailing 8 0. 6 10 remaining in the first quarter. Pope goes right, lob up top to Thompson. Thompson had it stripped, got it back. Boy, Poe hacking at him, no call. Ball goes up top to Rasha. Rasha right down the lane, tough runner. How is a ton of contact? Ball goes out of bounds and it goes back to Ames. Mark Dow had his arm draped over Rasha. 5.50 to go in the first quarter. Ames with the ball up eight. Will Thomas between the circles. Right side for Winter. Winter left side for Voss. Voss up top. A handoff to Poe. Poe left side of the lane. Fed it underneath the Dow, and he dunks it with two hands. Rock Dow makes it 10 nothing. Little Cyclones. Wolfing left side to Trey Brown. Brown right side to Derby. Derby to the wing for Wolfing. Wolfing. Looking for a cutter now, trying to dribble away down the lane, whistle and a foul on the floor on Ames. That'll be on Jack Winter, his first. Winter, their leading score, 14 points a game. Jamison Poe second at about 12 points a game, then Voss at eight and a half a game. Inbound at Brown, left wing Poe, left corner Thompson. Down low for Brown and reaching over him and fouling him is Abram Voss. That's his first. Team foul number two. Foul is on A's number 30. Abram Voss, his first. Thompson will throw the inbounds pass. 5 13, first quarter. Gets it on the block to Brown. Brown feeds it to Derby in the lane. The floater in and out, no good. Parker got his own rebound. Fouled on the putback, and Derby will shoot two. And that might be the second foul on their big man, Dow. No, it is not. It's on Jamison Poe. Team foul number three on the Little Cyclones. Parker Derby at the line, 53% on the season. The junior's first one, back iron and no good. One more free throw for Parker, trying to get a tumble on the board here. 5.08 first quarter. Second free throw, good, and it's 10-1. to one. Will Thomas, just a sophomore, 5'10 point guard into the front court. Dribbles around to pick left to right, still way up high. Now back left side to Voss. Voss hands off to Poe on the wing. Bulldogs are in a 2-3 zone. Ball goes right to Thomas. Now back left to Poe. Now up top to Thomas, right wing to Winter. Winter up top to Thomas, left wing to Poe. Poe dribbles in, goes in the corner. Voss, a shot fake. Baseline drive, cut off, feeds into lane. Dow bobbles it, taps it. And it's out of bounds off of Dow and back to a tumble. Good half defense by the Bulldogs that time to force the turnover. They get it back, 4.43 first quarter. Thompson will bring it across the timeline. Chase goes left for Derby. Derby just inside the three-point line on the wing. Now backs it out, gets it up top to Pope. Rasha surveys, throws it right side Thompson. Thompson a jab step, now throws it to Wolfing on the left. Nehemiah picked up his dribble left side to Derby. 
Derby trying to drive on Dow. Reach in by Thomas and a foul on that reach in by Will Thomas. It's already the fourth on Ames. 4.16 left in the opening quarter. And Ames about to get a solve off the bench. Manny Leith, a six foot four junior. He will replace Dow. Make it two subs here. As we'll also see Isaiah Knight, a six foot two junior. Thomas and Dow check out. Thompson a lob to the left elbow for Chase. Goes right wing to Derby. A whistle and a foul as Chase Thompson was trying to set a pick, got run over, and that might be the second on Abram Voss. It is. And it's team foul number five, so Thompson's at the line shooting two. Ames with a substitution here. Cameron Strawhacker is going to come in probably for Voss. Chase Thompson at the line, 74% on the season. Dogs are, have been a pretty good free throw shooting team. Chase hits the first, 10 2. Voss out, Straw Hacker in. Bulldogs 69% from the stripe. That's actually down a little bit. We've been over 70% as a team most of the season. Second free throw, back iron, no. The announcer's jinx, and the rebound pulled in by Winter. Winter across the timeline, right side to Poe. Poe pulls up on the wing. Gets it back up top to Winter, up high on the right. He'll bring it back between the circles. Now go right side to Poe. To the corner, and right back to Poe through Knight. Left side, Winter steps into a three, too strong, and the rebound underneath to Wolfing. Again, Ames had nobody underneath looking for the offensive rebound. They get back when they shoot. Wolfing left side, hand off to Trey Brown. Brown around a derby pick, cut off at the top of the key. Left alone, now had it knocked out of his hands. Gets it back at midcourt, gets it to Thompson left side. S still 16 on the shot clock, Thompson to Rasha. Pope up top. And he gets called for an offensive foul. Or wait, no, that's away from the ball. That's on Chase Thompson. Well, there, I was gonna say, Pope and his defender had a little bit of contact, but nobody was displaced and then the whistle blew. I thought it was on Rasha, but it was on Chase Thompson. Away from the ball, I didn't see it. Winter right side to Isaiah Knight, back to Jack Winter, left side to Poe. Poe splits defenders, fed it underneath, bobbled and caught, and they have to kick it back out. Now Winter left wing three, and he got it. Boy, you can't leave him alone. He's hit two threes, and Ames leads 13 to two. Pope into the front court. Ames playing man to man, Rasha left side. Hands off to Derby, Derby around the brown pick. They switch, Derby cut off up top, gets it behind him to Thompson. Chase over to the right side, a handoff to Wolfing. Wolfing up top, left side to Pope. 15 on the shot clock, Rasha down to the baseline, keeps his dribble in the corner, underneath Brown a tough catch, outside the lane, nine on the shot clock, back to Pope in the corner, launches a three, off the rim, no, rebound pulled in by Knight. Here come the little Cyclones. Isaiah Knight between the circles. Right side to Poe. Poe dribbles in, cut off on the lane, kick it left corner. Winter, another three on the way. He got that one. Three trays for Jack Winter, and it's 16-2 Ames. Pope into the front court. Goes over to the right side, hands off to Wolfing. Nehemiah Wolfing. Back to Pope in the right corner. Shot fake. Tried to go underneath to Trey Brown. The ball kicked by Poe. 2-12 first quarter. 19 on the shot clock. A tumble inbound from the baseline. Ames already has four three-pointers in this first quarter. Thompson. A whistle. A foul away from the ball on Ames as Trey Brown was trying to get open. And they will get Cameron Strawhacker for his first. So Trey Brown going to the line as the tumbles in the bonus. Trey 75% on the season. First free throw is up. And he gets the roll. First point for Trey, averaging 18 on the season. 16-3 the score. Tumwa. It's going to be a, a tough task to get Trey the ball down on the block tonight. Ames knows he's Atumwa's best player. Second free throw good for Brown. All of Atumwa's points are free throws at 16-4. to four. Uh, uh, Jamison Poe in the front court, right side to Isaiah and I Back to Poe between the circles. Back to Knight on the right. Back to Poe over towards the left now, way up high. 
Back to Knight up high on the right. Knight being shadowed by Pope. They go left side to Poe. Dribbles to the wing. 15 on the shot clock. Back to Knight. They're still 35 feet from the basket. Now Knight drives in. Had it poked away by Pope. Picked up by Thompson. Bulldogs want to run. Thompson trying to split defenders. Forces up a shot. No good. Got his own rebound. Back up and got the roll. Chase Thompson makes it 16 to 6. Dogs have their first field goal. Into the front court is Winter left side. Already has nine points. Way up top near midcourt to Poe. Right wing to Knight. Back to Poe. Dribbles right side of the lane. Jump stop. Kick it out left wing. Straw hackers open for three. And he hit that. Boy, that barely rippled the net. Five threes in the quarter for Ames. They lead 19 to 6. Ames is a 31.5% three point shooting team. They're pretty good at it. And they've been very good in this opening quarter. Chase Thompson, right wing. Up top, Parker Derby. Derby, left wing to Nehemiah Wolfing. Wolfing to the elbow. Step back jumper, long two. Got it. Nehemiah Wolfing with a nice move in a bucket. They announced Pope, but that was Wolfing. 19 to 8. Ball into the high post through the hands of Leith, and Trey Brown has a loose ball. A tumble into the front court. Throw it right side for Pope. Nice catch with the left hand. Pope into the lane. Left handed scoop shot. Off the rim. Nobody was fouled. And Rasha will shoot two. That foul is on Isaiah Knight, his first. Rasha at the line, 68% on the season. So I'm trying to battle back here. Got down 16 to 2. Rasha's free throw is good. Matt Mitchell and Brian Coulter in for a Tumwa. Will Thomas back in for Ames. Thompson and Derby sit for a tumble. 39.4 seconds left in the quarter. Rasha's second free throw is good. And the has got it down to single digits, 19 to 10. So a nice little surge by OHS here. About a four-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Poe. Dribbles in, now back out on the right, gets it to Strocker. Left wing to Thomas, El left elbow and back out on the dribble. Right side to Poe. Right corner, Strawhacker. Back to Poe on the wing. Poe splits defenders and got fouled on his jump stop. That's only the third on a tumble, so no free throws here for Ames. And I believe they got Matt Mitchell. Yes, they did. His first. Ames inbounding from the baseline. Shot clock now off. Lob it way up top for Poe at the volleyball line. Ames can hold for one here. I imagine they will. We'll see. Poe backing it out. It's almost playing a box in one here. They're zoning, except Wolfing is chasing Jack Winter wherever he goes. Poe to the right, right down to the right side of the lane, and he got fouled, and Matt Mitchell called for his second. Well, I don't think they wanted Mitchell to get two fouls. However, Ames has to reset with only 4.6 seconds left in the quarter. If Otomo fouls again, though, Ames will shoot free throws. Inbound in the lane. Poe goes up. Over Coulter. Got it to go. 21-10. We're back in a minute on the Otomo Radio Sports Network. Birthdays, ladies' night out, bachelor or bachelorette party, sports team, no matter what your special event or sport, at Graphics Masters, we can make you stand out. We offer custom apparel, t-shirts, sweatshirts, koozies, and more. We even make custom signage for your event. It's all here under one roof. We even offer auto detailing as well, like Graphics Masters on Facebook, to see some of our quality work or stop into the shop located on Albia Road across from the BP. Graphics Masters, we print your words. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people, people with goals, people who want to save more, people that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels Start of the second quarter. Ames off to a hot start in our boys game. They lead a tumble 21-10. Bulldogs do have the ball to begin the second quarter. 
Inbound to Trey Brown. Gets it right back to Rasha right side. Dribbles down to the corner. Back to Trey right wing. Trey down the lane. Little runner. Got it. Trey Brown has his first field goal. Four points. It's 21-12. A rush score even though Ames is not rushing it up the court. Jamison Poe high on the right side. Goes to the wing for Strawhacker. Back to Poe. Up top to Knight. Or pardon me, that is Will Thomas. Back to Poe on the right. Around a pick. Kicks it left corner. A three on the way is good. This time by Will Thomas. Ames is just on fire from three-point range. That's their sixth tray of the game. They lead 24-12. Rasha, left side. Hand off to Derby. Poe reaching in. They didn't call that. Right wing to Coulter. Ryan Coulter back up top to Mitchell. Matt left side to Pope. Down low. Trey Brown in a double-team tough catch. Trying to dribble out of it. Jump pass deflected off of Coulter's hands. Wolfing has it on the right wing. A three on the way. Good. Three. Nehemiah Wolfing with a three-pointer. Brought to you by Marvin Boyer with Shelter Insurance in Ottumwa. 24-15. Dogs back within nine. A minute gone in the second quarter. High on the right side is Poe. To Thomas at the volleyball line. Dribbles left. Goes to Strawhacker in the corner. Back up high to Thomas. He drives a lane. Puts up a tough runner. Off the rim, no. The rebound underneath, though, corralled by... Marak Dow, and then he's fouled. And they called that on Matt Mitchell. Matt Mitchell off the bench has three fouls. Chase Thompson will check back in for Matt. Will Thomas to inbound, goes left corner straw hacker to the wing winter, back in the corner, and Thomas is open for another three, and he hit that one. Back-to-back -back threes by Will Thomas for Ames. Little Cyclones up 27-15. Rasha dribbles in the lane, caught off the elbow, turnaround jumper off the rim, no, rebound to Poe. Rasha hit the deck after that shot, no call. Poe into the front court, dribbles right down the lane, all the way to the rim and laid it in. Timeout at Tumwa, they're down 29-15. We're back in 30 on the Atumwa Radio Sports Network. At Family First Chiropractic, it is our goal to get you and your family as healthy as possible and keep you healthy for the rest of your life. We deliver an elevated level of care for the entire family. We approach healthcare from a holistic view, incorporating multiple chiropractic techniques and physical therapy to ensure that our patients achieve the best results as fast as possible. We believe you deserve the best. A little preventative care now will eliminate pain management in later years. We want our kids to grow and live an active, healthy lifestyle. Get your family checked at Family First Chiropractic. Six sixteen left until halftime. A Tumwa trailing Ames 29-15. Inbound to Rasha Pope. He and Chase Thompson share a word as they bring the ball up court. Rasha through the midcourt circle. Pull up the elbow. Kick a left corner for Coulter to the wing Thompson. Chase Thompson brings it up top. Gets it right side to Trey Brown. Brown trying to drive on Strawhacker. Spin move in the lane. Runner, no. Oh, they say he traveled. It's not a travel. It's a spin move. 5.58 left in the quarter. Ames with the ball up 14, matching their biggest lead. Will Thomas, who's hit a couple threes this quarter between the circles, goes high on the right side to Poe. Poe into the high post for Dow. Left wing to Thomas, left corner straw hacker. Back to Thomas, up top to Poe. Poe drives in, pull up elbow jumper, got that. Boy, Tomo closed out on all the shooters nicely, but Jamison Poe with the 15-footer, and it's 31-15 Ames. Chase Thompson right side to Rasha. To Brown at the free throw line, pull up from the right side in the lane. He got fouled by Dow, and Trey Brown will shoot two. That is the first foul on Maroc Dow, first of the quarter on Ames. Trey at the free throw line, two for two so far tonight. He's got four points. First free throw is good. Abram Voss back in for Ames, replacing Strawhacker. Voss playing with two fouls. Voss, the only Ames player with more than one. The only Bulldog player with more than one foul is Matt Mitchell, who has three and will probably not play again this half. Second free throw for Trey. You got them both. Trey has six, 31-17. Will Thomas into the front court. Right side for Poe. Up high on the left for Thomas. Dribbles up top. Left side for Voss. 
Voss curls into the lane, kicks it out to Poe. Poe curls back into the lane, feeds it underneath to Dahl, who dunks it again, his second dunk of the game. 33-17. Boy, Ames does a really good job of getting you spread out in your zone and then attacking the weak points. Thompson left wing to Coulter. Coulter to the Rasha Pope on the right. Pope over to the wing for Thompson, down to the baseline for Trey Brown. Brown trying to pivot underneath, now brings it back out. 13 on the shot clock. Baseball pass left wing for Wolfing. Down to 10. Wolfing up top to Pope, down to seven. Rasha backs away down to five. Pope to the right, and an offensive foul away from the ball on Chase Thompson, his second. Team foul number two. Coulter will check out for a time. Will Parker Derby back in. 4.34 left until halftime. Will Thomas into the front court again for Ames. Pressure it up high by Parker Derby. It's almost gone man to man now. Thomas gets it back from Dow left wing. Up top for Poe, Poe dribbles right. Hesitation dribble, he got bumped on the floor by Trey Brown. Not a shooting foul, in fact he was passing at the end of that. Trey, that's only his first, team foul number three. Inbound to the right corner for Voss, to the right wing for Winter. Winter, nine first quarter points. He's been quiet here in the second. Up top to Poe, Poe right corner. Thomas open for a three. He got another one. Will Thomas is three for three from three point range in the second quarter, and Ames leads 36 17. Rasha Poe between the circles. Right side for Wolfing. Wolfing up top to Derby. Left wing to Trey Brown. Brown trying to drive on Voss. Now, spin move. Feeds, to, feeds it to Derby underneath and he lays it in. Boy, we've seen a lot of that in recent weeks. Derby gets his first bucket, 36 to 17 the score. Voss down to the baseline on the right. Lob it out to Thomas on the wing, up top to Poe. Poe dribbles left, takes it up, lays it up, rolls it off the rim, no good. Thompson taps the rebound to Brown. Dogs want to run, three on three. Trey pull up jumper in the lane, left it short, rebound to Voss. Abram Voss into the front court on the left side with a right-handed dribble. Tries to spin away from Brown, and Trey knocked it away, but it goes to Thomas. He gets it up top to Poe. 310 left in the half. A tumble down 36-19. And now a pass intended for Voss goes through his hands and out of bounds into the Atumwa bench. Bulldogs get it back. Timeout aims, 305. Bulldogs down big. We're back in 30 on the Atumwa Radio Sports Network. All roads lead to the new home of the realtors you've come to trust in our community, Bridge City Realty. Whether you're buying or selling property, contact our qualified staff of experienced professional salespeople at our offices, now located next door to Walgreens. We're right in the heart of Ottumwa at 301 West 4th, so stop by or call our new office line at 684-1234. Bridge City Realty, Southeast Iowa's number one real estate agency. You're watching the Atumwa Bulldogs on the Atumwa Radio Group Sports Network. Out of the Ames timeout, Atumwa inbounding, trailing 36-19. Rasha Pope into the front court. Pope dribbles left, now throws it back up top to Wolfing. Wolfing picked up his dribble, gets it back to Pope on the left wing. Rasha drives into the lane, cut off at the free throw line, tried to feed it underneath the Derby. Thompson saved it on the baseline, tried to go back down low to Derby, and it's knocked out of bounds by Dow. Manny Leith about to check back in for Ames. The shot clock reset, it should not have. And they're asking for it to be set to 12. Chase Thompson, inbound from the baseline. Gets it underneath the derby, cut off. And yeah, he took a step with the wrong foot and traveled. 2.40 to go until halftime. Dogs down 36-19. Uh, 
Thomas into the front court. Bounce it behind the right side to Leith. The big man goes left, hands off to Poe. Poe into the right corner for Thomas. Thomas curls in. Back out to Poe. Poe down the lane, left corner. Manny Leith for three. And he hit that. Boy, Ames cannot miss from three-point range. Leith only 16% from three, but he hit that one. And Ames is up 39-19. Trey Brown up top, shot fake. Trying to drive right side. And they say he traveled. And Neil Hart says that's not a travel. Said he got pushed. The argument to no avail and Ames with the ball up 20. Clock needs to start here, and it does. Ball goes high on the right side to Leith, brings it up top, hands off to Poe. Poe down the right side of the lane, all the way to the rim, a whistle and a foul on Otumwa. Parker Derby blocked that shot up top. It looked clean, but is it on him? No, it's on Pope. Rasha gets his second. Team foul number four on Otumwa. Well, they say it's the scoreboard says it's five. Jamison Poe at the line, 71%. First free throw off the rim, no good. Isaiah Knight back in for Ames, replacing Abram Voss. Minute 59 left in the half, dogs down 20. Second free throw up, and no good, and the rebound to Trey Brown. Rosh will bring it across the timeline. Goes left, hands it to Wolfing. Wolfing back up top, right wing to Derby. Derby, a handoff to Trey Brown. Trey dribbling against Knight, spin move, puts up a tough runner off the glass, no, rebound all the way out to Poe. Ames can run on this one. Poe with Thompson waiting for him, goes up and just blocked the shot. But it was poked away from Derby, Leith has it, throws it back underneath the Poe who hadn't left and he lays it in. Man, Chase Thompson didn't get rewarded for that great block as Otumwa was unable to secure the ball and now it's 41-19 Ames. Thompson right wing to Derby. Derby back to Thompson on the left side. Tried to go into the lane for Trey Brown and a reach in foul was called on Isaiah Knight. That's his second team foul number two on Ames. 1-10 to go in the half. Chase will inbound from the baseline. Left corner for Tom or for Trey Brown. Up to the right wing for Wolfing. Wolfing drives in, puts up a tough runner off the glass. No rebound tapped out, and Thomas has it up ahead to Poe. He's behind everybody. And the layup is good. Rasha tried to block it without fouling. He's already got two fouls, was unable to do so. 43-19. Rasha at the free throw line. Throws it right corner. Chase Thompson for three. Off the rim, no. Rebound to Knight. 12 second difference between shot clock and game clock. 40 seconds left, Poe in the lane, up top to Thomas. Drives right side of the lane, put up a shot awkwardly, no good rebound, Trey Brown. Dogs want to run, Trey right side to Thompson, takes it down, off the rim and off the glass and good. Chase Thompson transition bucket, 43-21. Ames can hold for one here and it looks like they will. Jack Winter goes left side up high to Thomas. Thomas up top, right side for Knight. Dogs in a man-to-man, -man, up top to Leith. Right wing to Poe. Down to 10 seconds. Jamison Poe all the way near midcourt, down to seven seconds. Dribbles left to the elbow. Throws it right wing. Thomas, a three at the buzzer. No good, and it's 43-21 at the half. We'll come back in a few minutes with the Bulldog Halftime Show on the Atomal Radio Sports Network. In Searcy, Arkansas, a young man says I love you for the first time, but his girlfriend doesn't quite hear. Franklin, Tennessee, a boy encounters his first pickle. And in Kyle, Texas, after a mission for tots, cousins realize they're a long way from Kyle, Texas. One day, many people, millions of orders. This is how we Sonic. With 2024 in full force, we hope that it is bringing great success to you. Lisco is here and ready to support you with your business and residential fiber optic needs. If you're looking to make the switch to a local fiber optic company or update your existing services with us, now is a great time. We have big plans for the 2024 year. Call me, Samantha Knoll, your local sales rep at 641-209-5400. Visit us at lisco.com and remember to visit us at our new walk-in location of 58 East Burlington Avenue in Fairfield. 
What's holding you back from living your best life? If it's poor credit or no credit, Community First Credit Union has the solution for you. With our new Charge Up Credit Builder program, we make it possible for you to establish or rebuild your credit so you can achieve your dreams, whether it's owning a home, purchasing a vehicle, or something else. So, what do you say? Why not let Community First Credit Union help you charge up your credit to new heights? Subject to approval and program qualifications, equal housing opportunity, federally insured by the NCUA. Birthdays, ladies' night out, bachelor or bachelorette party, sports team, no matter what your special event or sport, at Graphics Masters, we can make you stand out. We offer custom apparel, t-shirts, sweatshirts, koozies, and more. We even make custom signage for your event. It's all here under one roof. We even offer auto detailing as well, like Graphics Masters on Facebook, to see some of our quality work or stop into the shop located on Albia Road across from the BP. Graphics Masters, we print your words. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people, people with goals, people who want to save more, people that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels Get the small town charm with real world experience at William Penn University. Located in beautiful Oskaloosa, Iowa, William Penn is the perfect place to pursue your higher education. We offer a diverse selection of majors, including a four year nursing degree, and our state of the art facilities offer the latest technology. With small class sizes and affordable tuition, William Penn is a great place to call home. Invest in your future at William Penn. Visit wmpenn.edu today to learn more and enroll. Hey, nice job clearing the clog. Thanks. Do you know anybody who could repair the water damage in my basement? Roto-Rooter does that. Do you guys fix water heaters? Roto-Rooter does that. How about a leaky faucet? We do that. Disposal repair? We do that. I've got to run a few errands, but if you could finish up those pies, that'd be great. Thanks. And away go troubles down the drain. Pies? Okay. All roads lead to the new home of the realtors you've come to trust in our community, Bridge City Realty. Whether you're buying or selling property, contact our qualified staff of experienced professional salespeople at our offices, now located next door to Walgreens. We're right in the heart of Ottumwa at 301 West 4th, so stop by or call our new office line at 684-1234. Bridge City Realty, Southeast Iowa's number one real estate agency. At Community First Credit Union, we want you to earn more for your savings. For limited time only, with a minimum of only $1,000, open a 13-month certificate account at 5.35% APY. That is a 13-month certificate account at 5.35% APY. Come on, call or stop by your local branch to start earning more with your money. Because at C-First, together is better. APY is annual percentage yield. Rates subject to change at any time. Federally insured by the NCUA. We are at halftime, Ottumwa High Basketball, 12.40 a.m., 102.7 FM KBIZ, live video on the Ottumwa Radio Group Facebook page. It's been pretty much all aims in our boys' game in the first half tonight. The Little Cyclones lead your Bulldogs 43-21. to There were some bright spots for Ottumwa. Trey Brown has six points. Chase Thompson has five. Nehemiah Wolfing has five. Parker Derby with three. Rasha Pope has two. But Ames hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine three-pointers in the first half. Jamison Poe didn't have any of them, but he leads Ames with 10 points. Jack Winter has nine. Will Thomas has nine. Cameron Strawhacker has five. Marock Dow has four. Three for Manny Leith and three for Cameron Strawhacker. Right, Abram Voss has five. Strawhacker has three. Bulldogs have had the better at the free throw line. It's somewhat eight of ten from the line. Ames just two of four, but that's only made a small dent in it as Ames has been red hot from outside. I can maybe only think of two or three misses from three-point range. And the Bulldogs down big at the half, 43 to 21. 
Well, for someone in the second half, it's it's just a case of try to defend better. You know, they've got to they've got to keep Ames in front of them. Uh, a lot of those threes have come off kickoff kickouts, I should say, on dribble drives. They've got to close out on shooters better. A couple times that they did do that, they're able to force Ames into making mistakes, and so the Bulldogs need to do more of that. And then on the offensive end. You know, they found a few things that work. It's hard to get it inside on Trey. Ames is really doing a, a number on Trey inside, so got to find different ways to get him the ball, maybe get him loose for a couple of threes. He can hit three-pointers. Uh, it'd be nice to see Rasha heat up a little bit. He hasn't had many opportunities to shoot, and he's missed a few that he's had. And again, it, I'm not making excuses, but it's almost for the second week in a row on a Thursday night playing its third game in four nights. They played four games last week. They've got to play East tomorrow night. Now, thankfully, that should be an easier game than playing Ames. But, but Otomwa is a tired team trying to guard a, a really athletic, talented team in Ames. And this is far from Ames' best team. They're 12 and 8. Pardon me, I checked that. They're 13 and 5. They're a good team, but, of course, we've seen Ames win state championships in the recent past. But still a good Ames team in Otomwa. You, may, you wonder if we'd been able to play Ames when we were supposed to back in the second week of January. Otomo would have been a much fresher team than they are now. I don't know if Otomo would have been able to win in that case, but I feel like uh, they wouldn't have been blitzed by as much as they have been here in the first half. Let's see what kind of effort they can put together in the second half. Dogs trailing 43-21. to 21. We'll take three minutes, come back, and get you the second half on the Otomo Radio Sports Network. At Community First Credit Union, we want you to earn more for your savings. For limited time only, with a minimum of only $1,000, open a 13-month certificate account at 5.35% APY. That is a 13-month certificate account at 5.35% APY. Come on, call or stop by your local branch to start earning more with your money. Because at Sea First, together is better. APY is annual percentage yield, rates subject to change at any time. Federally insured by the NCUA. This is Opula with Mike's Pizza and Steakhouse in Otomo. Wondering what to have for lunch or supper? You don't really want to cook? Stop in and see us. We are known for the best pizza in Southeast Iowa. Enjoy a mouth-watering steak or an awesome tenderloin. We also have salads, pasta, chicken and fish, and of course, amazing Greek food. Call ahead for carryout. Our full menu is available at mikespizzasteakhouse.com. Thank you for making us your favorite restaurant. We look forward to serving you at Mike's Pizza and Steakhouse. Opa! Birthdays, ladies' night out, bachelor or bachelorette party, sports team, no matter what your special event or sport, at Graphics Masters, we can make you stand out. We offer custom apparel, t-shirts, sweatshirts, koozies, and more. We even make custom signage for your event. It's all here under one roof. We even offer auto detailing as well, like Graphics Masters on Facebook, to see some of our quality work or stop into the shop located on Albia Road across from the BP. Graphics Masters, we print your words. Get the small town charm with real world experience at William Penn University. Located in beautiful Oskaloosa, Iowa, William Penn is the perfect place to pursue your higher education. We offer a diverse selection of majors, including a four year nursing degree, and our state of the art facilities offer the latest technology. With small class sizes and affordable tuition, William Penn is a great place to call home. Invest in your future at William Penn. Visit wmpenn.edu today to learn more and enroll. Hi everyone, this is Karina Drummond with Reflection Studio in Ottumwa. We are a full service salon offering hair, nail, brow, lash, facial, and waxing services. We also handle weddings, proms, and other large events with multiple person makeover sessions. So contact us early to get booked for your next event. We thank all of our loyal customers for your patronage and invite all newcomers to join our salon family. And remember, looking good doesn't happen by chance. It happens by appointment with Reflection Studio in Ottumwa. Like Reflection Studio on Facebook and visit ReflectionStudio.com. That's Reflections with a Z. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people, people with goals, people who want to save more, people that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels like home. You're watching the Atomo Bulldogs on the Atomo Radio Group Sports Network. 
Getting ready to start the second half of Ottumwa High Basketball, 12.40 a.m., 102.7 FM KBIZ. Live video on the Ottumwa Radio Group Facebook page. Bulldogs, a big mountain to climb here at home against Ames tonight, trailing 43-21. to Rasha Pope, Chase Thompson, Nehemiah Wolfing, Parker Derby, Trey Brown, the five on the floor for Ottumwa. Looks like it'll be Ames' ball to begin the second half. Little Cyclones come out with Will Thomas, Jack Winter, Marak Dow, Jamison Poe, Abram Voss. Both teams are starting five, returning to the floor. Some will show some pressure on this inbounds from midcourt. Winter will throw it. Wolfing in his face, but they'll get it in the backcourt to Will Thomas. And he walks it back across the timeline where Chase Thompson waits for him. Tumble comes out man to man. Ball goes left wing to Winter, up top to Dow, right wing to Poe. Poe up top for Thomas, dribbles left, kicks it on the wing to Winter. Winter curls to the free throw line over to the right side. Wolfing follows him over there. Ball goes right side up high to Thomas. 15 on the shot clock. Left wing to Voss. Voss drives in the lane, puts up an awkward lay of no good, but Dow the rebound on the weak side taps it back in. 45-21. Pope into the front court right side. Up top to Chase Thompson. Left side stolen by Winter. Thompson trying to get back. Winter takes it down. Behind the back pass to Poe who lays it in. 47-21. Rasha between the circles. Hand off to Wolfing on the left wing. Back to the corner for Pope. Down low to Trey Brown. Brown double team. Spins through it. Tried to kick it right corner to Thompson. Poe tipped and intercepted. Poe's pass hit, hit Wolf and went right back to Poe through it under, underneath the Voss. Out to Thomas. Left wing to Poe. He drives in. Feeds it to Dow. Dow dunks it with two hands. Rock Dow has eight. 49-21 aims. And they start the quarter on a 6-0 run. Rasha, top of the key. Over to the right. Bounce it to Wolfing on the wing. Wolfing around to Brown pick. Had it stolen by Voss. Abram Voss all the way down and lays it in. 51-21. That's someone down 30. Timeout Bulldogs, 624 in the third. We're back in 30 on the Atomal Radio Sports Network. In Searcy, Arkansas, a young man says I love you for the first time, but his girlfriend doesn't quite hear. In Franklin, Tennessee, a boy encounters his first pickle. And in Kyle, Texas, after a mission for tots, cousins realize they're a long way from Kyle, Texas. One day, many people, millions of orders. This is Howie Sonic. You're watching the Atumbo Bulldogs on the Atumbo Radio Group Sports Network. A programming note on Saturday, beginning at 10 a.m., the Ottumwa boys wrestling team will be at Carlisle for the district meet. Bulldog wrestlers trying to qualify for next week's state tournament. I will be on site in Carlisle providing updates as the Ottumwa wrestlers try to qualify. We will have updates from all of our area schools at district qualifying on Saturday, beginning at 10 in the morning. Three reports an hour on our sister station, 104.3 KRKN. I'll also have a ton of updates on our Twitter, or X, I guess it'd be now, X and Facebook pages. Chase Thompson, right wing for a tumble in the corner, Nehemiah Wolfing, down low to Trey Brown. Brown trying to split a double team, kicks it out to Thompson, top of the key. Chase penetrates. His pass out deflected. Jack Winter with a steal. Pope trying to catch up, lets him go, and Winter lays it in. 11 for Winter, 53-21. Rasha racing into the front court. Lobs it left wing. Thompson steps into a three. Off the rim, no. Top of the backboard and rebounded by Dow. Will Thomas into the front court, right side for Voss. To the free throw line, back to Thomas. Dribbles outside the lane, gets it to Voss on the baseline. Voss guarded by Trey Brown, brings it back out to the wing and gets it way up high to Poe. Poe left side to Thomas, down to Dow. Trying to back down on Derby. Might have got away with the travel, out to Voss. Shot fake, trying to drive, pushed off on Trey, no call. Ball goes left corner, uh, no to Dow. Now he kicks into the corner to Thomas, a three on the way, off the rim, no. Rebound tapped to Rasha Pope, and Pope got fouled by Thomas. Second foul on Will Thomas. 
first of the quarter on Ames. Chase into the front court, goes left side for Rasha. Shot fake. Trying to drive on Thomas, cut off. Now gets it to Derby left wing. Parker to the free throw line, backing down on Dow. Got around him, goes up and draws the foul. And Parker Derby will shoot too. Ames thought he, they had a blocked shot, but they called the body. And Dow gets his second. Are they saying it wasn't a shooting foul? They said it was on the floor before the shot. So Thompson to inbound. Try to get it to Derby. He rescues it in the right corner. Picked up his dribble, though. Gets it on the wing to Rasha. Pope dribbles up top. Jump stop at the left elbow. Looking for some help. Goes down towards the block for Trey Brown. Brown backing down on Voss. Double team comes. Brown tries to split it anyway. Shot is blocked out of bounds. 16 on the shot clock. 4.58 left in the third. Manny Leith is in for Ames, replacing Dow. Thompson throw the inbounds pass, feeds Trey on the block. Trey gets it up off the glass, no good. Rebound out to Poe, wants to run. It's two on one, Poe down the right side, got the layup up and laid it in despite Pope's attempts to knock it away. 14 for Poe, 55-21. Ames, all Ames here in this third quarter. Tumwa hasn't scored. Right wing is Derby, hand off to Thompson. Chase gets it to the high post to Trey Brown, takes it down the lane, forces it up and got it to go. Trey Brown has eight dogs finally on the board. Ends a 12-0 Ames run in this quarter. It's 55-23. Running clock not quite yet in effect. Ames had led by 34. They're now up 32. Poe had it knocked away, but it gets to Thomas. Thomas to the elbow. Left corner for Leith. He's open for a three, and he hit it. Second three for Manny Leith. 58-23 and now a 35 point margin. We'll have a running clock. Thompson, hand off to Derby up high on the right. Parker back in the corner for Chase. A lob for Trey, knocked away and stolen by Winter. Winter into the front court. Goes right corner and Will Thomas for three and he hit that. Thomas has four threes. 58-23, pardon me, 61-23 Little Cyclones. 3.36 to go on the third. Pope to Thompson on the right. Chase back to Rasha. Shot fake. Goes around to Thompson pick. Pull up jumper. Counted in the foul, I think. Or not shooting? What do they call here? So they do count the foul. Or they count the shot, and the foul is on Thomas, and he did. I don't think he fouled Pope. I think he fouled Chase Thompson trying to push his way through. So give Rasha the bucket, 61-25. Also give Thomas his third foul. Team foul number three on Ames. And the Bulldogs get a new possession. Matt, uh, Matt Mitchell's checked in for a Tumwa. A lob on the inbound to Trey Brown, right elbow. Goes left wing to Derby. Derby right wing for Mitchell. Mitchell to Trey Brown towards the corner. Trying to drive in on Straw Hacker. Spin move. Got the shot up. No, but he's fouled and he'll shoot too. Boy, Trey working hard in some, a lot of double teams and he's just finding the cracks in there and getting shots up. That time he drew a foul. Manny Leith, uh, Manny Leith with the foul, his first team foul number four. Trey at the line where he's four for four on the night. First one up, and good. 61-26, Parker Derby out, Brian Coulter in. One more free throw for Trey Brown. Isaiah Knight has come in for Ames as well, by the way. Second free throw for Trey. Short off the rim, rebound to Strawhacker. Trey misses his first one tonight after hitting his first five. 61-26. Ball goes right wing to Leith, up top for Knight. Knight driving in the lane, jumps stop, and lost it. Trey Brown ends up with a loose ball. Trey into the front court. Ames has four back. Ball is kicked to the left wing, though. Wolfing open for three, off the rim, no, and the rebound to the corner where Knight picks it up. Had a good look, just couldn't get it to fall. Knight goes left wing for Thomas. Thomas into the corner for Strawhacker. Strawhacker dribbles in, kicks it back to the corner. Thomas another three, and he hit another one. 
Will Thomas has hit five three-pointers in this game, and Ames leads 64-26. Pope between the circles. Goes left side for Wolfing. Down low for Trey Brown. Double team comes. Trey spins to the baseline, got the shot up. They say he traveled. Quick on the travels again tonight. Subs for Ames, Poe and Voss back in, replacing Winter and Leith. And running clock in effect here. Ames will inbound with about 2.10 to go in the third, leading 64-26. Thomas between the circles, left wing for Knight. Knight back to Thomas. Right side for Poe, Poe baseline drive, goes up over Brown, missed the layup. Brown had the rebound, tipped out of his hands, but Rasha has it. Pope into the front court, left wing for Wolfing. Wolfing back to Pope. Rasha now dribbles to the elbow, pull up jumper, off the rim, no. Boy, when Rasha's right, those jumpers are falling. It's just as tired as it's almost been these last two weeks, the legs aren't quite there, I don't think. Poe dribbles back out, gets to Thomas, right side straw hacker, handing off to Knight. Knight skips it left wing for Poe. Poe drives in the lane, cut off, and he traveled with it. And that's actually a bit unfortunate for Atomo because he tried to drop the ball before the travel, failed to do so. And Rasha had that loose ball. He was headed the other way. Sub for Ames here. First look we get at Luke Brecky, a six foot junior. He replaces Thomas. Ames probably will clear the bench pretty early tonight. Pope into the front court, over to the right side. Hand off to Wolfing on the wing, into the corner, back to Rasha. Down low, Trey Brown. Trey goes to the baseline, lay it up, no. Got his own rebound, put back, no. Coulter the rebound, his shot, no, and a foul. And Brian Coulter will shoot too. Trey looking at Neil Hart saying, what about the foul on me? And Neil just claps his hands and says, keep fighting. Luke Brecky gets his first. It's the fifth of the quarter on Ames. Coulter at the line. First one short off the rim. Brian 50% on the season, so he needs to hit this one to keep that mark intact. 48.7 seconds left in the third. One more free throw for Coulter. Puts it up and gets the roll that time. His first point of the night, 64-27. Into the front court is Poe, right side for Knight. Knight up top to Strawhacker, right wing for Voss to Brecky. Now back to Voss, right wing. Up top for Knight. Knight right side to Brecky. Brecky drives baseline, cut off, feeds it across. Pope stole it, save it, got it to Wolfing, and the dog's the other way. Wolfing, center of the court, down the lane. Euro step, shot blocked, got his own rebound. Gets out of the lane, gets it to Brown. Brown down the lane, puts up the runner, couldn't get it. Rebound tapped out, Coulter fighting for it. He's got it outside the lane, trying to pull his way back in, and he draws the foul, and Brian Coulter back to the line to shoot two more with six seconds left in the half, or in the quarter, I should say. But Brian Coulter, all effort inside. Boy, his offensive rebounding has been a pickup for Otumwa these last couple of weeks. Foul was on Knight, his third. Coulter's first one here is good. 64-28. One more for the six foot two junior. Brian puts it up and they had a lane violation on Ames, but the free throw good, so it counts. 64-29. I think the ref blew the whistle because he thought the shot was going to be no good, but it hit the rim and went in. Now Poe into the front court, three seconds. Right wing, Brecky a three at the buzzer. No, 64-29 back in a minute on the Atomo Radio Sports Network. All roads lead to the new home of the realtors you've come to trust in our community, Bridge City Realty. Whether you're buying or selling property, contact our qualified staff of experienced professional salespeople at our offices, now located next door to Walgreens. We're right in the heart of Ottumwa at 301 West 4th, so stop by or call our new office line at 684-1234. Bridge City Realty, Southeast Iowa's number one real estate agency. 
Hi, this is Cassandra Brewer, clerical lead at Mercy One Ottumwa Family and Internal Medicine Clinic. If you're looking for a local provider to handle you and your family's health care needs, consider Mercy One Ottumwa. From pediatrics to geriatrics and everything in between, we are here for you year-round to assist you in your health care needs. We also offer our quick care walk-in clinic with no appointment necessary, open Monday through Friday from 7 to 4.30. Mercy One Ottumwa Family and Internal Medicine Clinic, your best life, our one purpose. Visit mercyone.org. Start of the fourth quarter, Atomwa has the ball trailing 64 to 29. Cooper Hugan has checked in for Atomwa, so is Matt Mitchell. Mitchell has it left wing. There was around a pick, a double team, tried to throw back left wing. Jamison Poe tried to steal it, but was out of bounds. Could argue that Poe had possession, they should reset the shot clock, but they're not going to do it. 23 on the shot clock, running clock in effect. Inbound to Hugan in the backcourt, brings it across the timeline left side. Hugan over to the right side, hand off to Wolfing. Into the corner for Hugan. Looking underneath, not there, up top to Wolfing. Ten on the shot clock, Wolfing, Wolfing left wing to Coulter. Coulter to Mitchell, down to five, to Hugan, down to three. Wolfing had it knocked away, Poe with the steal. Poe slows down, the shot clock went off, but Poe had the ball, then he missed the layup. Hugan lost the rebound, Poe got it back, got fouled. And Matt Mitchell just got his fourth foul. Well, that was an interesting series of events there. Poe had the steal before the shot clock expired. The shot clock went off anyway. He slowed down for a minute and then realized it wasn't stopping play. His first free throw was good. Missed the layup, but somewhat had the layup in their hands. Couldn't hang on to it. Poe picked it up and got fouled. Rasha Pope back into the game and Javen Rominger in for the first time. Mitchell and Wolfing will sit. So right now it's Pope, Rominger, Brown, Hugan, and Coulter on the floor for OHS. 7.03 to go. Second free throw for Poe is no good and the rebound to Trey Brown. Trey into the front court on the right side. Under seven to go. Gets it up top to Rasha. Rasha. Top of the key, dribbling left, try to go behind the back, lost it. Poe's got another steal. Rominger trying to catch up. Rasha trying to catch up. Layup no, but a foul. And boy, Rasha and Jamison Poe end up in a heap behind the baseline. They're both okay. Rasha gets his third. Jamison Poe right back at the line. He's 71% on the season, but he's only one for four tonight. 6.45 to go, free throw, front rim, back rim, and then it went through. Cameron Strawhacker back in for Ames, replacing Maroc Dow. Second free throw, good. Luke Brecky back in for Ames, replacing Poe. 67-29. 6.43 to go. Pope into the front court. Goes right side. Back up top, Trey Brown. Shot fake. Back over to Pope. Pope curls left. Rasha back up top. Picked up his dribble. Left wing to Rominger. Javen up top to Trey Brown. Brown down the lane. Got to the rim that time and laid it in. Trey's got 11. 67-31. Isaiah Knight between the circles. Goes left, hands off to Strawhacker. Up top to Manny Leith. To the wing for Abram Voss. Voss up top to Brecky. Left wing Strawhacker. Left corner for Leith. A three on the way. Off the rim, no. And Rasha skies for the rebound. Pope the other way, looking left. Try to go down the lane, had it stripped. Knight back the other way. Colter trying to get back. He's the one in a two on one. Euro step by Knight to the left side of the rim to lay it in. First bucket for Isaiah Knight. 69-31, Ames. Rasha, 5.45 to go right wing. Try to go down low to Brown. It was kicked by Knight. Ames will get Garang Dang, a six foot one junior, into the game. He will replace Leith. 
Running clock under five and a half to go when Otomo inbounds this ball. Rasha will throw the pass. Right corner for Trey Brown. To the wing for Hugan. Back underneath the Brown. Couldn't hang on to it. Deflected by Knight. Stolen by Knight. Isaiah Knight into the front court. Down the lane. Kick it right corner for Brecky. To the wing for Deng. His three is off the glass. No good. Rebound to Trey. Brown back the other way. Top of the key. Down the lane. Spin move. Right handed scoop shot. No. Rebound pulled in by Strawhacker. Now they'll get it tonight across the timeline. Right side to Voss. Voss to a curling Brecky. Pull up jumper in the lane off the glass and good. Luke Brecky's first bucket. 71 31. Rasha Pope behind the volleyball line. Picked up his dribble, goes right side to Hugan. Hugan back to Pope. Rasha over to the left. Down to the baseline. Jumper from the baseline. Got the roll. Rasha's got six. 71 33. 420 to go. Uh, Voss up top, hands it to Knight over to the right side. Up top to Strawhacker. Left wing back to Voss. Shot fake. Dribbles one step in. Now kicks it up top to Deng. He goes right side and Knight tries a three off the back iron. No, Rasha with the rebound. He wants to run. He's one on three. Pull up jumper from the elbow. Off the rim. No, rebound to Knight. Knight back the other way down the right side of the lane. Split defenders hit the deck. No call. Ball ends up out of bounds. And it goes back to Otumwa here. Both teams with subs. Knight slow to get up. And he's on his feet now. Joe Gravy and Caden Lockwood have come in for Otumwa. Ames is bringing in Athian Dang, a 6'2 junior. And they had another sub come in. And Garang Kier, a 5'11 senior. Rasha right side for Javen Rominger. Rominger up top to Gravy. Gravy on the back door to Rominger, but knocked away and stolen by Ames. Knight into the front court. Throws it right side for Kier. He'll try a three. Back iron, no. Rebound out to Javen. Hands it off to Rasha. 3.20 to go. Pope left side in the front court. Crossover dribble. Picked up his dribble. Gets it up top to Gravy. Joe goes right side for Hugan. Hugan to the L, uh, free throw line, cut off, gets it to Pope, pulls up for three. Count it, Rasha Pope with the three-pointer, brought to you by Marvin Boyer with Shelter Insurance in Ottumwa. 31, or 71 to 36. Athian Deng left side to Brecky. Brecky back to the wing for Knight. Knight drives in, jump stop, fed it across to Brecky, layup good. Some contact in there, but the officials trying to let this one play out at this point. 73-36. Rasha into the front court. Left side for Rominger. Rominger gets it back up top to Gravy. Back door to Rominger. Work that time. Lay it up. Count it in the foul. Javen Rominger with a chance for a three point play. Foul is on Brecky, his second. Two more subs for Ames. We see Trevor Goodwin, a 5'9 junior. And also Finn Delisi, a 5'10 junior. Rominger at the line, 4 of 10 on the season. And the lefty gets the roll, make it 5 of 11. He's got three points, 73-39. Goodwin into the front court. Goes left side for Garang Deng. Drives in and got fouled by Lockwood. Deng will shoot two. First foul on Caden Lockwood. Two fifteen to go. Deng at the line. First one is good. His first point of the night, 74-39. Second free throw short, but the rebound Athian Deng knocked out of his hands, got it back. Kicks it right wing to Garang Deng. In the corner for Kier. His three is back iron, no long rebound. Is out to Delisi. Now they kick it left corner. Athian Deng will try a three. Way too strong air ball rebound to Lockwood. Caden Lockwood, 5'8 junior, into the front court for Otumwa. Behind the back dribble, top of the key. Bouncing behind into Rasha Pope. Pope will launch a three. Count it. Maybe that's good for Rasha's confidence. Back-to-back -back threes. 74-42, and Otumwa's going to take a substitution timeout here. They'll get Devin Umfress into the game to replace Rasha. Ames will bring in another sub. 
Kevon Farrell, a 5'9 senior. Minute 44 to go. And it'll be Trevor Goodman for Ames into the front court. Right side for Grank here. Now up top and a pull-up elbow jumper is off the glass. No good by DeLisi. Rebound to Atomwa. Cooper Hugan has it. Hugan across the timeline. Picked up his dribble. Gets it to Umfress up top. Devin down the lane and he got fouled. Not a shooting foul. Foul is on Kevon Farrell. Only the second foul on Ames. Oh, oh, they said he was shooting. Okay. So Umfress at the line to shoot two. First free throws of the year for Devin Umfress. First one up. A little too strong. Devin hasn't scored this season. It would be nice for him to get on the scoreboard here. Minute 12 to go. Second free throw, too strong, and the rebound to Athian Day. Up ahead, Ames into the front court. Keir has it, baseline drive. Kicks it out to Farrell. Farrell tries a three, back iron no, rebound to Umfris. Umfris lost it across the timeline, but Rominger picks it up. Javen between the circles. Pull up three, was blocked by Farrell. Rebound to Keir, pass up to Farrell, who's heading down court. Layup good. 74, 40, 76, 42, pardon me, 40 seconds to go. Lockwood up top, right side for Umfris. Umfris back up top, behind the left side to Rominger. Rominger right side to Gravy. Gravy had it stripped. Here's Farrell back the other way. Lockwood trying to catch up. Layup, no. Weak side rebound, a good one. Kicks it out, Athian Deng. He'll try a three at the top and hit it. Deng's first made three of the year. 79-42, shot clock off, 13 seconds left. Hugan into the front court. Right side to Lockwood. Lockwood trying to drive in, kicks it out to Umfris. Umfris, pull up jumper right side, no good. Rebound to Farrell and that will do it. The final score aims 79 and it's home with 42. Two minutes and we're going to wrap it up on the Atomo Radio Sports Network. What's holding you back from living your best life? If it's poor credit or no credit, Community First Credit Union has the solution for you. With our new Charge Up Credit Builder program, we make it possible for you to establish or rebuild your credit so you can achieve your dreams, whether it's owning a home, purchasing a vehicle, or something else. So, what do you say? Why not let Community First Credit Union help you charge up your credit to new heights? Subject to approval and program call Qualifications equal housing opportunity federally insured by the NCUA. Birthdays, ladies' night out, bachelor or bachelorette party, sports team, no matter what your special event or sport, at Graphics Masters, we can make you stand out. We offer custom apparel, t-shirts, sweatshirts, koozies, and more. We even make custom signage for your event. It's all here under one roof. We even offer auto detailing as well, like Graphics Masters on Facebook, to see some of our quality work or stop into the shop located on Albia Road across from the BP. Graphics Masters, we print your words. It's time to choose the credit union with a new perspective. At Meridian Credit Union, we don't just see member profiles. We see people, people with goals, people who want to save more, people that we can help. That's why we offer financial services convenient to you. Great loan rates, online banking with bill pay, mobile banking, and credit cards. Join the many satisfied Meridian members today. See how our perspective can help you. Meridian Credit Union, where it feels The Atoma Schools Bulldog Spirit Store is your one-stop shop for all things spirited and stylish. From comfy bleacher seats to trendy polos, sweatshirts, and t-shirts, we've got you covered. But that's not all. We also have accessories like earrings, water bottles, foam fingers, and so much more. Visit us at the lower level of Career Campus, located at 331 East Main Street. The Bulldog Spirit Co. offers a wide range of products to suit every Bulldog fan out there. See you soon.
And welcome back one final time tonight to Evans Middle School, where in the boys' game, Ames beats Ottumwa 79-42. Quickly, the scoring for Ottumwa, Rasha Pope had 12, Trey Brown had 11, Chase Thompson had 5, Nehemiah Wolfing had 5, 3 for Javen Romager, 3 for Parker Derby, 3 for Brian Coulter. For Ames, a lot of guys in the scorebook. Jamison Poe had 17, Will Thomas had 15, 11 for Jack Winter, 8 for Marock Dow, 7 for Abram Voss, 6 for Manny Leith, Let's see, five for Athian Day, or pardon me, three for Athian Day, four for Luke Brecky, three for Cameron Strawhacker, two for Isaiah Knight, two for Kavon Farrell, one point for Garang Dang. Tomwa falls to 11 and seven, Ames improves to 14 and five. And our next broadcast of Tomwa High Basketball tomorrow night, right back here at home, it is senior night for the girls, next to last home game for the boys, as we'll take on Des Moines East and wrap up Iowa Alliance South play for the season. Girls at 6.15, boys at 7.45 on 1240 AM, 102.7 FM KBIZ, and on the live video stream on the Atomo Radio Group Facebook page. I want to thank all our sponsors one more time, Meridian Credit Union, Bridge City Realty, Graphics Masters, Sonic Drive-In, William Penn University, Community First Credit Union, Roto-Rooter, Family First Chiropractic, Citizens Mutual, Mike's Pizza, Lisco, Mercy One Atomo, Reflection Studio, and Marvin Borey with Shelter Insurance. Big thank you to Bulldog head coaches Joe Vandenberg and Neil Hartz for helping us prepare for the broadcast tonight. And a big thank you to both of my producers, Annie Argo, the on-site video producer, and Kyle Smith, the radio producer, back at the KBIZ studios. Finally, I'd like to thank you, the fans, for tuning in tonight, because without your support of these broadcasts and of Ottumwa High Athletics, none of this would be possible. So thank you for tuning in to Bulldog Basketball on 1240 AM, 102.7 FM KBIZ, and on the live video stream on the Ottumwa Radio Group Facebook page. My name is Jason Van Arkel. I'll talk to you tomorrow night when the Bulldog girls and boys take on Des Moines East. Until then, good night, everybody.